The tubing design for the 9240 and 9250 is somewhat the same as the 8240, 8250. We come up from the blower. I've taken off that piece right now because of this one's a little bit too long right now. But you're going to come up from the blower with a 5 to 4 uh, rubber hump connector and there's a 16 and a half inch piece of tubing and we'll have a 90, rubber 90, make a corner right at the top of the rail here, just inside the rail. And we'll come this way with a long tube that will come right behind the radiator overflow tank. I've got a piece of wire holding this up just for my demonstration. Uh, you may need to zip tie this in place. I don't yet have a bracket to support it. Uh, at sometime, maybe maybe next year I'll have one, 2021 or something, I'll have a bracket to bolt on here to help support this. Once it's actually all together, it's pretty rigid anyway, but it wouldn't hurt to have a little support for that tube. So we come across right behind this uh, shield for the radiator fluid overflow tank will be pretty much just below the top level of that and then we've got a 45 degree uh, elbow from this tube onto this one and then this one in the case of the 9240 is going to need to shoot underneath this bracket right above the the step here to get over the engine over the valve cover um, I'm actually on an 8240 because I don't have a 9240 on the local lot to do a demonstration of this with. But the, the engine head is very much the same between these two models, um, except for the fact that they changed the, the shape or the uh, routing of this crankcase breather. On the 8240, they come all the way over the head and then have this rise here. On the 9240, they come down here and then turn down here, and they so, so they leave the space above the step here open but this space for whatever reason is plugged up with stuff it's got a, I don't know if there's another tube in there I forget but it but we can't shoot through here the way we do with the 8240 uh, it doesn't work and but the, the left hand end or the other end of the head is free over above here so we can go on it above the step and below this bracket right through here and a four inch tube will just fit in that space and so with the 45 back on here, we're going to come with this piece and shoot underneath there. Um, again, I don't have a 9240, so I'm kind of demonstrating this on an 8240. Uh, this breather tube won't be here on this one. It routes down earlier, and so I couldn't completely assemble this with a 90, but I've got one scrunched underneath there to show that it's going to slip on the end of this tube. And this tube will be an inch and a half longer, so it'll go into this 90 degree elbow right about to right about there but that elbow would then be able to lay on top of that head and make the 90 degree corner and then you can actually see um, I have the piece representing the top of our enclosure set in place there and there's a stub riser setting in it I haven't hooked it on because this is temporary so we come up out of that and go directly into another rubber 90 and that rubber 90 is aimed directly at the end of this one and I've got a, there'll be a 15 inch piece of aluminum tube that will join those two. So we're going to make a 90 over the head, make a vertical 90, go into that stub connector on in, and right down into our enclosure. So this makes a, it's not desirable I know to, to use the space above your step here to do that, but otherwise it's a pretty clean installation. And once we have that in place, you can close this lid and the, and the tubing will par mostly parallel this angle here and so it makes a little bit harder to climb up on top but it doesn't really preclude the use of that step you just have to be a little careful so that's the difference between the air routing on a 9240 and an 8240 either one will work it's just this last route over the engine that we had to do, do a little bit differently we can look underneath here and see where we're I don't know if you can see back in there but that's where we're going to go in both cases we'll clear the the oil fill cap back here so that you can still use that to put your oil in the in the engine on top of the valve cover. Again, I always caution people to be be vigilant on your machine. This will stop the chronic fires we hope that uh, that occur at the exhaust system, that originate at your exhaust system, um, but you still need to watch for fires that could occur due to an electrical short, due to uh, friction somewhere on the machine, or due to uh, even a rock pickup, or um, due to any other hot source like a bearing or your alternator. I've heard of that too. But I uh, hope that this solves your, or mostly solves your problems with sunflowers and other volatile crops. Be sure to have a safe harvest.